Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Mail Online under the main headline of Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins dies. Summary of headline article. Advertisement The Foo Fighters longtime. Charismatic drummer. Taylor Hawkins. Has died at the age of 50. Prior to being Foo Fighters. Hawkins played drums for Alanis Morissette from whom he was recruited by frontman Dave Grohl. Nirvana's own legendary drummer. The Foo Fighters are pictured in their last song in their more performance last Sunday. March 20 in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Ozzy Osbourne praised Taylor Hawkins as a great person and an amazing musician and promised to see him on the other side. The Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine War. Zelensky hails powerful blows by Ukrainian army as Russia hints at scaling back offensive, live. Summary of headline article. 1735 Russia's defense ministry said on Friday that the first phase of its military operation was generally complete, saying the country will focus on the liberation of Ukraine's eastern Donbas region. The defense ministry stated Russian-backed separatists now controlled 93% of Luhansk and 54% of Donetsk, the self-proclaimed republics in Ukraine's east. The main objectives of the first stage of the operation have generally been accomplished, Sergei Rudskoy. The head of the Russian general staff's main operational directorate said during a briefing. In Friday's announcement, Russia also appeared to hint that Moscow's invasion of Ukraine may be turning to more limited objectives, adding that the main goal of the operation was the liberation of the Donbas. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, earlier said that the denazification of the Ukrainian leadership, generally understood as regime change, was the main motivation for the invasion. From Evening Standard under the main headline of P&O ship detained in Northern Ireland after being deemed unfit to sail. Summary of headline article. A ship operated by P&O ferries has been detained in Northern Ireland for being unfit to sail. A spokesperson for the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency said. We can confirm that the European Causeway has been detained in Larn. The vessel will remain under detention until all these issues are resolved by P&O ferries. The European Causeway entered service in 2000 replacing the Pride of Rathlin. According to the P&O ferries website. It comes as Prime Minister Boris Johnson backed Mr. Shap's call for P&O ferries chief executive. Peter Hebblethwaite to quit over the sacking of 800 workers without notice. From Mail Online under the main headline of Revealed. The high-ranking general sacked by Putin. Summary of headline article. Russian Army Commander General Vlaslav Yershov of the 6th Combined Arms Army has been identified as the general sacked earlier this week by Vladimir Putin. The sixth Russian commander killed since the invasion began was said to have been Colonel Yuri Medvedev, who was brutally taken out by mutinous soldiers after their 37th Motor Rifle Brigade suffered huge losses. He added it was a further sign of morale challenges that Russian forces are having. Among the others said to have been killed is General Magomed Tushev. Of the Chechen special forces deployed by Russian President Vladimir Putin in Ukraine. It has been blamed in part on communications and logistics issues. Leading senior officers to use unencrypted channels which has exposed them to Ukrainian forces. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine war. 
Pregnant women moved from Mariupol Hospital were sheltering in bombed theater. Summary of headline article. On 16 March a theater sheltering more than a thousand civilians was bombed in the heavily contested southern Ukrainian city. Pick. Maxar Technologies pregnant women were sheltering in bombed theater for the first time. Sky News has also been told pregnant women who'd been rescued from a bombed maternity hospital in Mariupol had been moved to the theater for safety. I know that there were pregnant women that were brought from the maternity ward in the third hospital that was bombed the days before, she says. They were brought to the theater because it was a big building and they put these pregnant women with kids in the dressing rooms for actors. Image. A satellite image shows an overview of Mariupol Theater and the surrounding area. From the Independent under the main headline of J.K. Rowling responds after Putin, references her in speech about cancel culture. Summary of headline article. J.K. Rowling has spoken out against Vladimir Putin after he defended the Harry Potter author in a speech condemning cancel culture in the West. The Russian president claimed the West was trying to cancel Russian culture, including the works of great composers such as Pyotr Tchaikovsky, Dmitry Shostakovich and Sergei Rachmaninoff. He continued, they are now trying to cancel our country. Rowling has repeatedly come under criticism for various social media posts which many have accused of being transphobic. She posted, apparently, under a Labour government. Today will become we who must not be named day. Rowling also personally criticized Labour leader Keir Starmer for saying, trans women are women. From Mail Online under the main headline of teen who died on Orlando drop tower knew something was wrong. Summary of headline article. The boy fell out of his seat and landed on the ground soon afterwards to the horror of the other riders. A woman who called 911 told a dispatcher that Sampson was face down, wasn't responsive and appeared to have broken his arms and legs. The free fall ride and an adjacent ride, the slingshot, have been closed indefinitely, Stein said. An inspector on Friday could be seen sitting in a ride seat with the security harness over his shoulders as another inspector took measurements. The ride stands 430 feet tall and is billed as the world's tallest freestanding drop tower, according to the park's website. From The Guardian under the main headline of Joe Biden visits Poland in show of support for Eastern. European nations. Summary of headline article. Joe Biden is due to give a significant speech on Russia's invasion of Ukraine on Saturday after arriving in Warsaw, where he will meet with the Polish president, Andrzej Duda, during a video address to European Union leaders. The Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, confronted Hungary's president. Viktor Orban, who has for years been Vladimir Putin's most staunch ally in the EU. The Hungarian government is not joining other EU countries in supplying arms to Ukraine. Nor will it allow weapons to pass through its territory. It's time to decide. Zelensky has said that with 16,000 Russian troops killed so far there must be serious conversations to end the war. After his meeting with the military, Biden was due to be briefed on the humanitarian situation on the Ukraine border by Samantha Power, the director of the United States Agency for International Development. From Sky News under the main headline of Prince William tells Caribbean nations that any decisions to become republics will be supported. Summary of headline article. The Duke of Cambridge has delivered his clearest message yet about other Caribbean nations, potentially cutting ties with the monarchy, saying, We support with pride and respect your decisions about your future.
during his tour of the Caribbean with the Duchess of Cambridge. Prince William has been under the spotlight to address issues such as slavery, reparations and the prospect of more countries, including the Bahamas, Jamaica and Belize, becoming republics. Friendship endures as though it was striking that he used his only speech in the Bahamas to make his views clear on the issue. William said, It is touching to see your deep admiration for the Queen and her 70 years of dedicated service to the Commonwealth. Later on Saturday, William and Kate will travel to Abaco and Grand Bahama to learn about the destruction caused by the hurricane. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Teenage Girl Given Life Sentence for Vicious, and Homophobic Murder. Summary of headline article. Two men and a teenage girl have been given life sentences for the vicious and homophobic murder of a father of two in a Cardiff park. Dr. Jenkins had been married and had two daughters living in London. Friends of his were aware Dr. Jenkins often went to the park at night looking for sexual encounters with other men. At a hearing on Friday, Judge Daniel Williams sentenced Edwards and Strickland to serve a minimum term of 32 years and 123 days. He sentenced to Tims Williams, 17, to a minimum of 17 years. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.